Hello my family members, Accenture is going to complete their on-campus drive very soon, but we won't stop learning. Still those who are waiting to give their assessment test, welcome to this session. Today we will share a coding question that was asked on 5th September 2023 on campus drive of Accenture. So let's start. So the question is actually regarding sub d equal. The problem statement is allies being good at mathematics. Bob assigned him a task by giving him the integer n and asked him to find the minimum number of operations to make the integer n equal to 1. In one operation, allies can do either of the following. Divide n by 1 of the factor of n, subtract n by 1. Input format, the input consists of a single line that is an integer n and output format is this. The, uh, the minimum operations to make n into 1 will be the output and here is a sample input that is it, if we take input as 10 then the output will be 2 how I am explaining at first let's say we divide the 10 by its highest factor that is uh, 5 right so 5 uh, multiplied 2 is 10 so then subtract 2 by 1 then we will get 1 right so the steps required for making 10 is 1 that is 2 right and for making 17 uh, equal to 1 uh, what are the steps required so at first we have to subtract by 1 then it will be 16 so this is the first step then 16 is divided by the highest factor greatest factor that is 8 so the number becomes 2 right so now this is the second step and the third step is 2 divide 2 minus 1 that means this is the third step and 17 becomes 1 so the output is 3 right so i hope you have got the logic okay let's go to the solution page i hope you will solve the problem if you can then please pause the video and try to solve the problem by yourself right otherwise it will not be helpful to you okay before i solve the question i would request you to please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus drive and accenture assessment based playlist right okay let's start at first define a function minimum operation operation and take the argument n and take initialize a variable operation is equal to 0 in which we will store the steps required to make the n 1 right so let's run a while loop while n greater than 1 we will check if at first if n is prime so for that at first let's say we are initializing is prime is equal to true right then we will run a for loop for i in range 2 to n by 2 plus 1 right and I, I hope you know how to check if a number is prime or not so if n mod i is equal to is equal to 0 that means the number is prime it's that the number is not prime right so each prime will be false here right okay if this happen then just break right then if the number is prime then subtract one and increment the operation right so out of the for loop we'll check if n is equal to sorry if is prime that means if 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 is prime is true if this then n must be subtracted by 1 and operations must be incremented to 1 right if not else do this what find the greatest factor right so let's say at first we are initializing the greatest factor as 1 then find it right so for i in range n by 2 sorry 2 to n by 2 plus 1 right actually we can find the greatest factor within the within 2 to the half of the number right so let's check if n mod i is equal to is equal to 0 if this 
then greatest factor in, uh, is equal to i right so at the last when the just before the ending of for loop the greatest factor will be the i ith value right okay now you if you check what is the greatest factor then you can print the greatest factor but i am not doing this because this is not supposed to do right okay now just divide n by greatest factor and increment the operation count right so out of the for loop just uh, do this right n minus is equal to 1 and sorry n divided by the greatest factor greatest factor and operation will be incremented right and now subtract n by 1 repeatedly until 1 until that n becomes 1 right and increment the operation right okay now run a while loop until the n becomes 1 so in here just do this n minus is equal to 1 and operation plus is equal to 1 right okay just after that do this thing that is return the sorry return the operation right operation what happens yes this is right right okay now just read the input then i hope this will be fine Okay, the input n is equal to int input and the result is equal to the minimum operation function, right? Minimum operation n and just print the result, right? Print result, then it will be fine. Okay, I hope this code will be right. Okay, let's check if this is right or wrong. Sorry sorry bad input return operations oh set actually spelling mistake right return okay now this is okay just run this and check if this is right or wrong so for 10 this will give 2 and for 17 this will give 3 right and you can take another input right let's say 24 so for 24 the number will be divided by the greatest factor 12 then the, the, the n becomes 2 right so then 2 minus 1 will be 1 so we need two steps to make this one right so the output is 2 okay i hope you have got the logic right so if you still having any problem then let me know i will give you the solution in the comment section and if you found this video helpful please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding accenture on campus coding questions and accenture previous year coding questions right link will be given in the description box thank you for today's session